Life is a short line with a mysterious beginning and a brutal end. One day, without noticing anything, you'll take your last step and fall straight into the void. The big question is, does the end have a beginning? Because here I am, watching myself, ready to be cut in half. Alright guys, let's make this quick. I've got dinner plans tonight. Taking Sarah to the Black Moon. Cause of death may be uh, asphyxia by hanging. Suicide. No shit, Sherlock. Blue is a depressed junkie and an alcoholic. I'm now going to proceed to the dissection of the corpse to see if it contains any substances that may have led the victim to commit suicide. Amen. It's a scary feeling to see a sharp cold blade ready to cut your body and be unable to react. Hang on. <clears throat> you want to say a final word to your old pal? It's just... Really, it's just that I'm not a big fan of bloody stuff. There you go. Uh, plus I've had this massive fish and chips for lunch. You know the one they serve at St. James? Yeah, then get out. <laughs> right. Um, anybody care for something? Cup, uh, biscuits, coffee, anything? Right, fair enough. Um, I'll be right back. Have fun in there. Fucking pussy. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying, it's very scary to see someone cutting your body and be unable to react. But in a way, I feel that I could do something. Move. Go back to my body and scream. Anything. Jesus fucking Christ! Call an ambulance. Shut the fuck up! What the fuck? I'm fucking alive! We can't call an ambulance. What, what, why not? You just cut open a man you identified as dead who was in fact still alive. You're gonna be in big trouble. Hello! Who wants some crisps? Cheese and onion. Absolute best in class. But don't rush. Do you want some, mate? Don't touch! Are you for real? God, relax. Spending your time with the dead sure doesn't do you any good now, does it, mate? Well, anyway, I got you these. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mm. You have to try those. They're amazing. They're almost to die for. <laughs> right. Whatever. Go on. Go on, Jen. Sake, Finn. Jesus. Sorry, I. Uh, oh. I. Uh, you did nothing. Nothing. Really. You lazy bastards. I told you had dinner plans with Sara tonight. Who the fuck is Sara anyway? Your new girlfriend. Why? Do you want to steal her? <laughs> Cut the man already. I might need that coffee. Mm, and a tea, a uh, black tea, please. All right, fair enough. I'll get you drinks. But when I come back, you better have good old Stevie here, all sewn up, and we're gone. Clear. We should kill him. What the heck? What? Why, why would you kill Finn? No. Dickhead, how thick are you? Him? Watch your mouth, Coleman. You could finish on this table sooner than you think. 
No one knows what tomorrow might bring. Are you threatening me? Well, I hope he is. Uh, you should go with Finn. And I'll take responsibility. Henry, he was dead. He can go back to it. Are you out of your minds? Yeah. Have you lost your fucking mind? We will lose more than our bloody minds if this man goes out of this room alive. We can wait for him to wake up and we just tell him to keep the secret. Really? So he just goes off with his guts out like, Bye guys, that was a great party. Have a wonderful evening. So what? We kill him so we can continue living our lives peacefully? Like nothing ever happened? You see dead people every day. What's the big deal? This is death, <sighs> cunt. Fucking marvellous. Jeez! I don't like this. <laughs> you afraid of ghosts? You better be. What did you say? Where's Finn anyway? He's been gone for ages. Do you even know where the fuse box is? I really don't like all of this. I mean, uh, the dead alive guy. What if he wakes up again and comes for us? You really are a coward for someone who spends his days around dead people. Yeah, dead. That's what they are. I'm more worried about the living. That is what they're supposed to be before you put a hole in their chest. You know more about death than I do, don't you? The man was known for being depressed and an addict. Easy to cover a crime with a suicide. Not a terrible cop you would have made. According to the file and Finn's big mouth, he was an old colleague of yours. And murderers kill people they know. Unless you're a mass murderer, which I don't think you are. I made a mistake in the first place when I identified him as dead. And you have nothing to do with it. Nothing to worry about. Yet you want him to remain in the grave. I have many reasons to think that you killed him in the first place. Finn? Steve, we got delayed. The power cards. Never man, let's go. Well, that's just great. Position for you. Just about Are you going to blackmail me? You and Finn leave like I proposed. And I promise you, by tomorrow morning, Steve will be dead. Is that Chinese? Jesus. May I ask what you're planning on doing with him? Do you know why medicine has gone so far in such a short time? Technology? Nazis. Are you a Nazi? No, but in medical experiments on living bodies, that's something else. As soon as the light comes back, you leave with my secret and I'll keep yours. No way. Nope. Nice try, though. You have principles now. You just don't cut open a living body. How would you like that, you psycho? Come on, Jennifer. Would you like to be strangled to death? Now you tell me who's the psycho. Get in there. I'm fucking brilliant. Great. It's already seven. Let's wrap this up. Well. Okay, fine. Did he find anything? No.
not your boss anymore. You'll be back soon, I'm sure. I know about Merlin. What about her? Finn. I lost everything because of Finn. Marilyn, my kids, my career, my money, everything. You lost everything because you're a drug addict, mate. You don't cross that line with me, Chen. I know he's like a brother to you. But since you've known everything since the beginning, hid it from me, you owe me the truth. I don't owe you shit. You're gonna go for him, aren't you? I saw her with him a couple of weeks ago, arriving at your house. He's gay. <laughs> and so's your wife. It's late, you should go and I'll finish the work. Uh, where's the body? I put it in the fridge. <laughs> Brilliant. Can we see it then? Finn, leave it. Jesus, mate, you should really relax. I'll send you the file tomorrow. Yeah, you do that. Go on, Jen. Let's get going. <laughs> Jen, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> so? on your mind. He knows everything. Which part? I might need your help. Look, it was a pleasure to report that wanker. But if having the wife is not enough for you... He's got a gun. <laughs> so do I. You don't understand. We have to get rid of him. Like, really get rid of him. Look, I don't know what you want from me, but I can assure you, everything is fine. Yeah? I told him you were gay. I don't know what's going on here. Did he find anything? We can end all of this. There's no we anymore. Come on, Finn, mate. This time I see you, but you don't see me. What now? Who's there? <laughs> Fucking dyke. Well, that's no way to talk about the mother of your children. I trusted you. <laughs> The feeling wasn't mutual. Hi, Finn. <laughs> Hi, S Steve. Are we dead or is he alive? According to science, he's alive. According to science, you shouldn't have had a degree in the first place. He's got a point. What do we do now? Everybody can go home and we forget everything that happened tonight. That's cute. Let's take a vote. Henry here wants to do Nazi experiments on you, for science, and then kill you. Who's up for that?
Is this the woman we all died for? She's not even hot. Shut up. Shut up. Which one of you do you think she's crying for? Steve, does it hurt when they cut? You'll see. Yeah, I just hope I'm not going to wake up in a grave, man. <laughs> <laughs>